I'm Lauren Andrego. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The undefeated and second-ranked St. Thomas women's basketball team heads into its final three games of the regular season, leading the conference by one game. Center Caitlin Langer leads the dominant Tommy offense with almost 20 points per game. Forward Lauren Fisher has been a key to the success of the Tom St. Thomas defensive efforts, adding 14 rebounds against St. Kate's last Wednesday. I'm joined today by Coach Ruth Sin, Caitlin Langer, and Lauren Fisher. Thanks for coming in today, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having us. All right, Coach, you've said that this season's success is based on focusing one game at a time. Correct. So how do you keep such a successful team from looking ahead? Well, the idea is that we've got to continue to improve and, and develop, and hopefully we'll be ready for any opportunity. But if, if we continue to look farther beyond, we're never utilizing the game practice the environment to improve. Our motto this year is own the moment. And so every moment we're trying to improve and get better. So when we get to that opportunity, we're ready for it. Um, Caitlin and I were just visiting about this. When you get to this point in the season, there's some pressure that comes with it. And you, you just have to let that go. You, you have to not be concerned about the outcome and just really invest in the process of you know, getting that rebound like Lauren does or getting a D-stop or offensively executing and just be completely present where you're at. And that's what I've been real proud that they've done. Yeah, that's great. Caitlin, you recently hit major milestones in your 1,000th point and your 500th rebound. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> uh, what has been the key to your personal development over the last four years? Uh, our practice environment is really always like pushing each other to get better. Uh, it's not personal, um, but you just have to keep pushing your teammates to be their best selves. Um, I definitely wouldn't hit those milestones without my awesome teammates and like coaches constantly supporting me. So that's also definitely the key to that. What about this practice environment? Uh, what makes it different than others that you've been in that makes it so great? I think just the way that we go through drills together, we're not um, necessarily like head to head. Like it's really about do like giving the best to your drill in order to like make yourself better and it's not necessarily like me versus Hannah or me versus Elsa in that aspect. Great. And Lauren, even with an undefeated record, coach continually pushes you guys to improve. Where do you think the team needs to improve? Um, I think we have different little things that we work on every week. Recently we've been focusing on starting off games better because we've been giving up too many points at the beginning of games lately. And also in our communication, like being specific so everyone's on the same page and we don't have any turnovers or miscues on defense. Great. And Caitlin and Lauren, you've both been contributing members of the last few St. Thomas basketball teams. What do you think makes this year's roster so unique that you're able to win 22 straight games? Caitlin, you can answer first. Uh, I think Lauren. last year people kept talking about how young we were and how inexperienced we were. Um, and that's kind of why we were underestimated last year. And so I think... The fact that we get to bring in that experience um, this year has been such a key to our success. Like last year was Lauren's like first time in a big role on varsity. It was my first time in a big role on varsity, and so it really did like help develop us. And now we get to bring in all that playing time to this year. Yeah, I would agree. I think the experience has really helped. We know what to expect now, and um, like my freshman year and Kate's first two years, we were. Um, still contributors, but we were more as like cheering and helping in practice, and now we get those experiences in games, so that has really helped a lot. Coach, this is your 12th year for St. Thomas. Okay. What makes this team so special? I, I think the way they support each other, their demeanor, um, they're focused on what they need to do at the right times. Um, we were in this Gustavus game and had a 14-point lead. It went down to one point, 67-66. And they brought each other together, and we're got, we've got this. And they talked about what they need. They have such a good demeanor as far as the culture and what they believe in and how they trust in other. And, and that's what I'm excited about is the trust that I'm seeing out there. That's awesome. We'll be back after this message. Barbers learn the traditional techniques of barbering. We utilize straight edge razors. We do a lot of clipper cuts, a lot of tapering, fading. I've been in this location for 12 years. I have uh, clients that have been cutting their hair since they were four years old. Get to have conversations with these kids and it keeps me on my toes. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Caitlin and Lauren, Junior Dakota Larson wants to know, if you had to play a different sport for St. Thomas, which would you choose and why? 
Um, I guess I would choose volleyball because that's the only other really high school sport I played um, throughout that time. But. Maybe you're six three is an advantage. Uh, yeah, maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> I also would probably pick volleyball because I played that in high school. Um, I wish I could say running, but I don't, I don't know. I probably would end well. <laughs> Coach, would you expand your 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 coaching resume to a different sport? Um, I, I think I'm good. I think <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Looking forward to the game this weekend and the rest of the season. Thank you for all thank you, you do. Thank you. If you have a fan question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thanks for joining us. And be sure to check Tommy Media this Saturday for full game coverage as the Tommies take on the Knights of Carleton. With Ruth Sin, Caitlin Langer, and Lauren Fisher, I'm Lauren Andrego. We'll see you next time in the locker room.